Next up, Grace Haas and Chelsea Brown. Sharks, I'm Grace Haas, and this is Chelsea Brown, and we're the creators of Luscious Packets. We have created an all-natural scented drawer freshener. To use our product, just stick it in any drawer of your choice. When you finish with one packet, you can order another on our website. We have designed this product for ages 8 and up due to safety reasons. We don't want them swallowing the all-natural ingredients. Our problem is that after a while, your clothes run out of that laundry detergent smell, or some people don't get to wash their clothes that often. Our target audience is anybody with either of these problems. Examples are military personnel, business owners, owners of gym bags, and people who just love all natural products. This is our chart. For our data, we tested three different amounts of the all natural ingredient. For this test, we used lavender. We went around and we asked 13 people for each test which packet they liked better. And this is our chart. We'll give you a few seconds to look over it. We used our data to determine the amount of all natural ingredients to put in each packet. The manipulated variable was the amount of the all-natural ingredient. The controlled variables were the size of packet, type of all-natural ingredient, and type of coffee filter. This is our graph, which we'll give you a couple seconds to look over. These are our averages. In conclusion, one teaspoon won by 0.4 votes. Therefore, we made our luscious packets with one teaspoon of the all natural ingredient. Our solution is luscious packets. Why? Luscious packets keep your clothes smelling fresh all day and are made of all natural ingredients and are very easy to travel with. How? Our product has been proven to be the best smelling. Our natural ingredients make it the best for our consumers and the environment. Our luscious packets are appealing because they use fresh, all-natural ingredients, they keep your clothes smelling like they just got out of the washer all day, and they are travel size and ready to be used on the go. Luscious packets, resources, and cost. The productive resources were natural resources, human resources, and capital resources. There were no natural resources in the making of luscious packets. The human resources were Grace and I, and we were both investments. These are our capital goods. They are lavender, coffee filters, and tape, and these are the consumables. We'll give you a few seconds to look over it. These are the investments. They include Sharpies, roller, scissors, and measuring spoons. We did not add the cost of our investments to the total cost in the making of luscious packets. The total cost to make one luscious packet is 21 cents. The retail price would be 99 cents, meaning that we have a profit of 78 cents. If we split the profit, we would both make 39 cents. Our marketing strategy is a website, and this is our URL. And we, since this is our website, it would be online all day, every day. We created the website on Wix, which we're going to show you. So you just click the link. This is our home screen. And the first paragraph just tells the customers what our product is and like what we're about. And then if you scroll down, you can subscribe to us for new information. And then if you go up to the coming soon page, 
You can see some different scents that we're coming out with, such as zesty lemon and fresh mint. And then if you go to our shop now page and hit the shop button, you can purchase a luscious packet. And right now, the only one we have is the uh, lavender scented. So if you click on it and you add it to the cart, and you can check out. And if you go to our photos page, we just have a couple photos of Luscious packets. And then that is our website. Well, these are some of the pictures we took in the making of our prototype. Thank you, Sharks. We hope you invest in us so you can smell the sweet smell of success. <laughs> Any questions? Thank you, girls. This was this was really great. I, and I actually did this come out. <laughs> myself in the face. Okay. So a couple thoughts. First of all, I like the size a lot. Uh, a lot of times if I go to the store, Target, wherever, these, these are huge and they, they only fit in a big drawer or I can hang them in a closet. But I travel a lot and I need these. So I noticed that I can go online to order them when I run out and I don't really have a lot of time to get back online to reorder things and which is probably why I need these because I don't have time to wash my clothes. I just need these to make them smell good. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm wondering, could you create a subscription model? Almost like a magazine subscription where these show up at my house every, I know, maybe I can choose, I want them every six weeks. I can choose my custom package that I want delivered to my door. Mm -hmm. have, did you think at all about other models of selling these? No, but that's a really good idea, thanks. Also, I noticed your data was really close between one teaspoon and one tablespoon. The difference was 0.4 votes, I think yeah. you said. Uh -huh. Could you allow people to customize their scent package so those folks that liked one tablespoon could pick the amount of scent per package? Yeah. Great. Thank you. Are we allowed to keep these samples? <laughs> yeah, you can. Because uh, Katie doesn't wash her clothes very often. <laughs> <laughs> so keep mine right here. <laughs> so, um, you guys did a, a great job. The website is awesome. Yeah. That, Thank that you. was a really good, really good thing for you to get uh, experience with. And Katie had some good ideas there. Um, I have a question though. Uh, is, is, is lavender a natural resource? Um, well, we purchased the lavender, the all natural lavender online on Amazon. Okay. Now, I, I'm not sure how your teach are Bethany and or Jill in the area here. Okay, I'm not sure how you're classifying natural resources, but I, I think the wood in the last project, did, I think, and also the lavender, I think that's a, is that a natural resource? Is that? The lumber, if it's treated lumber, then we have to basically say we're going to see a natural resource. They have to go down and cut down the tree itself. Mm. So we'll get the first to get rid of the lumber, the one else. It's a consumable thing. Yeah. Okay, okay, that's, that's fine, as long as the, with, with that understanding. Um, That's a good point, though. You might be able to cut down your cost if you were to grow your own lavender, which yeah. is mm -hmm. vertical integration. That's <laughs> right. Um, I had a question on in your cost. Was the cost of the artwork on the packages in that cost? We wanted to take that off, but we didn't have time to change it on our slides because we didn't think it was very professional to like draw on them. So we just decided to have them plain. Okay, so your product at this time doesn't have any of the pictures or anything? No. You're a, a scented thing buyer, so what do you think? Does that, does that matter to you at all? I would like some artwork or some designs. I might even like to customize that part too. I could pick out my favorite designs and have those coming every month or so. Yeah, yeah. I like lots of choices. <laughs> Good, job, girls. Good job, Thank you. Did you do any tests on um, how long they last and how long they stay scented? Um, for we um, since people have 
like some people have stronger sense of smell than others, so we were thinking that was going to be our next test. Okay. Also, um, I bought this bag of lavender on Amazon, and I bought it at the beginning of the year, and it's still smelling like really strong. So I think it could last as long as like two years or something. Like it, I don't think it's going to wear out any time soon. Great. If you do decide to test additional people with your product, because I think um, when you start to use more people, that might be some another area where you could ask for additional help, because sometimes with using individuals and a, and a sense of um, likes or dislikes, you can get a really wide range of uh, feedback, and you can narrow that down. And I know that Mr. Hogue is a good person to, to keep, kind of even talk to about how you, can, how you can, might be able to set that up. Thank you. And one more marketing bit. You could probably market this to students to keep in their lockers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. mentioning back in our audience was like gym bag people. Yes. Work out. <laughs> nice. And if you do that, you can sell them to sports teams with sport logos, Brookville Blue Devils. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. One more note uh, is that your cost to price ratio is about where these projects should be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You should be about a quarter. A quarter of your final price should be your cost. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Oh. Which is pretty easy to do because they're like easy to make and they were only cost 99 cents, which is also like another strategy for people like wanting to buy them because they're like it's only 99 cents, so why not just try one out? So yeah. that's another marketing strategy. Yeah. Yeah. Another another thing to think about is smaller samples, depending on how long they last. Like Amy said, is uh, you could maybe give a couple away here and there yeah. because yeah. your cost your cost to give them away is low. Yeah, every subscriber on our website, I forgot to say this, gets one free luscious packet. Okay. Awesome. Mm. Smart. Very good. Thank you. Thank you.